Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks for joining me today on a dyeing video. Today we are dyeing up some hand spun Tunis yarn samples for a friend of mine, actually the owner of the farm that the Tunis fleece came from. So um, I hope you enjoy today's little video and if you do, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Before we jump into the show, I would like to say a huge welcome to all the new subscribers. I love you and appreciate you all, and you're the reason I'm here week after week. Okay, so we're going to dye up some sample skeins of yarn. Um, I think they're about 25 yards, 50 yards a piece, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember how many I counted. This is all Tunis yarn, and I'm gonna dye them pastel colors. So since they're really tiny, I'm only going to use a tiny bit of um, dye. I've already got some citric acid. So I'm just gonna drop the dye in there. So that's violet. And then I've got pink. Pink doesn't always want to dissolve all the way, so there may be little speckles in that one. I've got turquoise. Ooh, I should have used less on that one. Turquoise is a bit overwhelming. This is an eighth teaspoon, and I'm not even using half. We've got sun yellow. I want this super pale. Yellow is another one that doesn't like to dissolve. Kelly green. And then my last color is sky blue. the colors have been put in the jars and now it's time to make sure the color is getting where where I want it. I think I used an eighth teaspoon of citric acid in each of these as they're maybe eight grams, ten grams at the most. That one's good. And now I'm going to take my nifty little spoon here. Make sure the color 
comes all the way in there. So these are probably going to sit for a couple of hours and then I will heat them in a double boiler or in the case of this one straight on the stove and I will show you the results once they come out of the pot. So fast forward a couple of days. I did not get back to this the same day but most of the colors absorbed um, within a few hours of sitting on the counter. I just didn't get around to heat setting the dye for a few days, which is what I'm doing now. Didn't realize I used way too much dye because you see how dark that blue is and it's supposed to be a really light blue. Yeah, I should have used either twice as much yarn or half as much dye, but you know, it worked. It was a fun experiment and uh, it was really easy to do. So... I think I will repeat this with uh, more yarn in the future. The only color that did not absorb evenly was the purple. So next time I do violet dye, I think I will not add the acid until after it has um, the yarn has had a chance to soak up the purple. And sometimes um, the acid makes it strike unevenly, which is the case on this purple here. But I thought they all turned out just gorgeous and this is definitely something that I will repeat in the future. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys!